Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my underrated game series, and today we're going to be talking all about the PlayStation 1. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Underrated Games series number six. Um, guys, this is going to be... Uh, Again, some more PlayStation 1 games. Uh, yeah, I think it's all PlayStation 1 games. Um, PlayStation 1 had a really big influence in my life. Um, it was uh, one of the systems that <clears throat> brought me back to gaming. And uh, I really do love it. And it was uh, a time that the arcades were around and I was playing in one of my local arcades quite a bit. And some of these machines I actually played or one of these games I actually played in a machine uh, on an arcade machine. And that's going to be this first one is Cyber Sled PlayStation 1, 1993 by Nameco. Um, now, a lot of people don't really know what this game is. It's, it's, it's kind of this arena tank simulator thing with these odd twin stick controls. Now, if you've ever played, uh, virtual on it, you'll see similarities heck there's even similarities in the in the arcade machines but cyber sled is namco and the uh the virtual on games are sega um but it's it's basically the same controls it's really well done um i really enjoyed cyber sled quite a bit my only issue is that on the playstation one there are no dual sticks even trying to use something like the dual analog stick, not the analog controller, the dual analog stick, it still doesn't work properly or doesn't work the way that it should. Now, <clears throat> um, maybe one day I can figure it out or convert my, uh, my other sticks for Virtual On on the Saturn to PlayStation, but who knows, one day, maybe. Um, so next up, we're gonna have Elemental Gear Bolt, PlayStation 1, 1998 by Working Designs. Guys, even I slept on this one. This is before I actually became a uh, huge Working Designs fan. Um, I remember my friend Sinchatus looked over in Electronics Boutique and said, Hey, uh, look, Working Designs made a gun game. And I kind of blew it off. And then, uh, what was it, later, like 2002 or something, I finally got my hands on one. Because at that point in time, I decided that I really wanted a full working design set. Now, I, I don't have the Assassin's Case, just the basic game. Um, but it's a great game. It's wonderful. Um, the music, the story, the, the full motion video scenes where it's just fully animated. It just tells this really um, odd part of a story, and <clears throat> you're kind of left figuring out the rest. But it's an excellent light gun game. Uh, the music is just so good. Guys, check it out, or even just go watch a, another video about it um, that goes into more depth than me right now. I do plan on going into more depth on this game at a later date. Uh, next is Ghost in the Shell, PlayStation 1, 1997 by THQ. Uh, anime back in 1997 was fairly underground. Um, no one really looked at it too much other than like the people like me who were into video games and, in, and mainly into like role-playing games and stuff like that. And I knew about Ghost in the Shell, one, because I worked at Blockbuster Video and rented all of the anime and went through all of it. Um, you know, I cut my teeth on, uh, oh man, what was it? Uh, Robot Carnival. That was it. And then I expanded my, my horizons to Armitage the third, and then finally Ghost in the Shell. Um, <clears throat> this game, you actually control a Tachikoma, which is the spider tank. And they, they're very nimble. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a first-person shooter style with lots of platforming, and it's just a lot of fun. There, It ties in with the animated series very, very well. Um, 
you know, and it just, it's a great game. Definitely, definitely go by and like, uh, at least check it out. Maybe, you know, just find some way to play it. Uh, give it a shot. Uh, another one that is very, I, I still feel that this is very underrated. I don't think enough people talk about it, even though I say that it is my absolute number one favorite RPG of all time. And if you've watched my previous episodes, you know what this is. Grandia on the PlayStation 1, 1999 by SCEA. Um, I think it's just letters, SCEA. But if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, please. I would love to, you know, have any input or any kind of education from in, like anyone else and help in, in that regard. Grandia, oh man, what, what, what haven't I already said about Grandia? I love Grandia. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the game. Um, it, I don't know, it just came to me when it was like Final Fantasy three and then which us three on the snes which is six um and then final fantasy seven and then chrono trigger and then uh final fantasy eight and all of these uh rpgs that had the same trope where it was like you started off trying to save the world and guys that gets old after a while and grandia was uh a brush of a breath of fresh air because you didn't start off that way you did not start off trying to save the world you just started off being a kid wanting to have an adventure and join the adventurers guild and earn your way to becoming a master adventurer and there was there was something to the honesty of that the innocence that just kind of got my attention and honestly i think um if you like rpgs and and the the turn-based rpgs or the action bar rpgs um give this a shot you know if you loved final fantasy 7 8 or 9 um you deserve you deserve you owe it to yourself actually to give grandia a shot so Next, we're going to talk about Guilty Gear on the PlayStation 1, 1998 by Atlas. Um, you know, to paraphrase Lightsaber Samurai, uh, Atlas means buy it now, think about it later. If you don't like the game, wait a year, sell it. But Guilty Gear is the first of the series, obviously where you're playing through and it's got this really good soundtrack to a fighting game. I'd never heard a soundtrack like this for a fighting game ever in my life. The only thing that even came a little close was Killer Instinct. And even then, it did not hit this hard. Um, it is a great game. You have lots of interesting story, really, really different characters that have their own motivations in this fighting game. Um, you know, the, the guy who made it is pretty much like a genius in my mind. He, he didn't dream just part of the game. He dreamed all of it. He, you know, I can't say enough about Guilty Gear, and just just go try it. Just go try it and see where the game takes you and how you feel about it. So, we're going to move on to a twofer. So we have Ga Gundam Battle Assault 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 1. Uh, first one was done by Bandai in 2000, and the second one was also done by Bandai in 2002. This is another fighting game that was a little bit off the beaten path. Unfortunately, the game has risen in price recently as, the, as of the recording of this video. And I have to say, um, 
I was kind of happy that I was a anime slash Gundam fan uh, in the early 2000s and picked this game up, or both of these games up. Um, now, the first one is a little bit clunky, and you you move like you weigh like a Gundam. You know, however many thousand or however many tons or whatever, you know, you don't move like a human being very fast. You you know, you have mass, and therefore it takes a while for you to walk across the screen, or jump, or kick, or anything like that. And you can't just rely on your machine guns, because you'll run out of ammunition. Um, it's, it's really wonderful. Now, in the second game, they did speed things up a little bit, and they added a few more characters. The first game, I think... They tried to do a lot of the characters from different Gundam series, and it was the main character from a lot of different Gundam series. The second one, they kind of brought in more people from some of the more popular series and stuff, uh, where, you know, like, uh, in the second one, they brought in Gundam Deathscythe and, and a few others, where it was, like, not the absolute main character, but it was... You know some of the other characters that were supporting the main character and both of these games are great um unfortunately i can't say to go buy them because of how expensive they are but you know you guys can find other means to play these games and i mean that's that's what we're really here about is you know find new games to play find something new to enjoy uh, and with that, guys, are, are there any, un, you know, uh, underrated games or, you know, things like that that you feel that I should know about? Um, please leave them in the comments below and have a great day. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.